So we are at the beginning of the Austro-Turkish War in 1788. To honor the alliance of Joseph II of the Habsburg Empire with Catherine the Great of Russia, the Austrians intended to block the Ottoman advance of Koka Yusuf Pasha in the valley of Karen Sibis in present-day Romania. The Ottomans already had crossed the Danube and were approaching Hungary. Joseph II himself was at the head of an army of 18,000 men. On the 21st of September 1788, the Austrians had set camp by the Temes River and sent some cavalry officers as scouts to secure the area and identify any Ottoman presence. They couldn't find any trace of the enemy and encountered Roma people instead. The Roma people offered to sell liquor and women to these cavalrymen. The unit began drinking. A few hours later, another Romanian unit in the army crossed the river. They saw drunken hearses on the ground. They asked them to share the drinks, but the hearses did not, which started a fight between the two groups. The Romanian soldiers shouted, Turki, Turki, to scare the hearses and take the drinks. Meanwhile, a scared soldier fired his gun. As it was midnight when the cavalrymen heard the sound of gunfire, they thought that the Romanians in front of them were Ottoman soldiers, disguised as Austrian soldiers, and suddenly, panic took over among the hussars, and they all ran toward the bridge to cross the river. Trying to calm the soldiers, the Austrian officer shouted, HALT HALT! But most of the soldiers did not even know a word in German. They thought the officers were shouting HALA HALA, which caused an escalation of the chaos. A commander who saw the chaos from afar thought that the Turks were really coming and gave an order to fire the cannons. The great Austrian army fought tooth and claw, accompanied by cries of the Turks, the Turks, protect yourself. Everywhere smelled of blood and gunpowder. Although the guards around him tried to protect him from the chaos, Emperor Joseph II fell from his horse into the river. In order not to be captured by the Turks, he crawled to a house nearby. Unaware of everything, the Ottoman army came to the scene of the incident two days later. They found the Austrian soldiers lying dead on the ground in front of them. Sources estimate between 150 and 10,000 the number of victims on that day. Thus, the Battle of Karen Sibis went down in Ottoman history as the easiest victory. Thank you for watching and see you next time.